supposed to snow today? That means you should pack your bags. I don't know if you watched the news like three years ago, but we had a snow snowocalypse here in Atlanta, Georgia. Pit Road 400 north of Atlanta looked and sounded like this last night. Late as Wednesday, drivers were still stuck in miles of frozen grid. State semi trucks jackknifed, cars abandoned by the hundreds, others struggling. And the news wasn't lying. I mean, it was a real struggle. People left work at one o'clock in the afternoon, and some of them didn't make it home till two days later. Two days. And that's exactly why I'm packing my bags right now to go home now. It just started raining, which during the apocalypse, it was snowing. So I'm not too afraid when it's stuck in traffic. No one's around. There was like five people who walked by. Other than that, no cars, nothing. It's kind of dead outside, which is a good sign for me to head home too. Because if people are at work, they're probably on the freeway. On Snowocalypse, this entire freeway was frozen. I mean, not frozen with ice, frozen with non-moving cars. It was insane. But I wasn't stuck in that traffic because I heeded to a warning from my good friend Steve. Apparently, it wasn't the first Snowocalypse that ever hit Atlanta. As from what I hear, I think it was 1995 there was one also. Hardly a typical Saturday night in Buckhead's Club District. Downtown, the same story. Maybe David Copperfield made everyone disappear. I had left 30 minutes before traffic really hit. 30 minutes after, my brother left. It took him 10 hours to get home. Me, it took me two. And it took me two hours because I came directly here to buy some of these for my wife. So I figured, why not? I figured I had time. And the truth of the matter was, I did have enough time. And it looks like today, so did everyone else. Which is really nice. Because uh, I'm pretty sure everyone was really freaked out again. Ow! Rightfully so. I mean, that's kind of traumatic for a lot of people. But not for me. I love snow days. I grew up in the mountains. I think I've told you this before. California, we didn't live in Southern California. We lived in Northern California. Up there and man, kind of near Eureka. And in the mountains, we would get six feet of snow sometimes. It was the best. So moving to Georgia, I had to learn a few things. Like last night when I went to the grocery store. Who would have guessed avocados and lemons were the first things to go during a snowstorm? Apparently people don't really like 2% milk. That's my favorite. And the only eggs available are eggs that are more expensive than a gallon of gas. That's insane. No doubt about it, people get a little freaked out here. And it's different for me, but I like it. The whole city stops for snow. Everything is quiet. It's a lot of fun. In fact, that crazy day in 2014, the day Saturday Night Live made fun of us. A rare winter storm this week paralyzed Atlanta, leaving drivers stranded on snowy roads for hours despite only two inches of accumulation. Kind of is embarrassing. But that was one of my favorite days Hanging out at home with my family. What are you about to do? Break my neck. <laughs> Not bad. That was great. <laughs> that was great. What do you think, Jay? Not impressed. <laughs> I like snow days. In fact, every snow day we've had since we've been in Georgia you has just been. sat on my foot. It was asleep. <laughs> Ouch. Has been a lot of fun. Like, super fun. Every single one of them. Hey, Mom. <laughs> She's working at a water park. She knows how to do it. And so right now, outside, there's no snow at all. It's just ice. A lot of ice. But tomorrow I'm hoping for another snow day. So for now, good night. And here. <laughs> it's the saying, good night and good luck. Better than tomorrow, right? No, I was gonna say, I was saying, here's to having snow in the morning. Mm, that's yeah? That's not the way the saying goes. <laughs> Alright, you're right. See you guys. Alright, it's just ice outside, no snow. I'm gonna go check out the street, honey, see if it's frozen. Oh, look at this. Dogs in China look the same. What do you mean dogs in China look... Of course dogs in China look the same, Susie. I wasn't even speaking English to it. <laughs> Seriously, look. 
What do you think dog look like in, in, in Africa? Well, oh, what, what? what do you think people look like? Everyone people look different. Susie, I can't. I can't remember. <laughs> No, I'm serious. This is it. This is it. <laughs> this is it. No. No. A Chinese man in America. A Chinese man and an American man look different. What does an American man look like? A white man. Okay. A white man. What does a white man look like? Like you. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Yeah. Look at this guy. No, no. I am not saying they all look the same. That's not what I said. You said, what did you expect them to look like? So just like people in different countries look different, I would expect dogs in different countries to look different. Do you understand? I'm going outside of the street, honey. You, you stay right there. <laughs> uh, Not everyone was quite as happy. This New Englander had hoped to play golf in Florida. What do you think of the way Atlanta handles the snow? I think they could use a few more plows and a little more sand or salt on the road and a few more drivers that have experience. Boston handles it a little bit better. Uh, absolutely.